Okay, third graders, let's do number three. Our very first step when doing a word problem is to read through the whole problem. Read number three with me. Jan planted eight tulips last week. Today she planted some lilies. Now she has 17 flowers. How many lilies did she plant? Our second step when doing a word problem is we need to turn the question into a statement. The question here is, how many lilies did she plant? Who can turn that into a statement for us? Eric. Why lilies were planted? Very good. Blank lilies were planted. Our third step in doing a word problem is to figure out what is this problem about? Raise your hand if you can tell me what is this problem about? Gracie? Lilies. It's about lilies. So let's write lilies over here. Then you need to draw your start line and your bar. Our next step in doing a word problem is we are going to read through each sentence with our period stops. We are going to fill in the information as we go along. Here we go. Read the first sentence with me. Jan planted eight tulips last week. Period stop. Eight tulips. I'm going to add that into my bar. Eight goes in my bar. Tulips goes on top of eight. I'm labeling my bar. Now I'm ready for the next sentence. Read with me. Today she planted some lilies. Period. Stop. Do we know how many lilies she planted today? We don't. So let's represent that by putting a dashed bar to separate our bar graph here and then a question mark to represent that we don't know how many lilies she planted today. Our next sentence. Now she has 17 flowers, period, stop. Is 17 a part or a whole? Whole. So that whole number goes at the end here. 17. How many lilies did she plant? Question mark, stop. We are now ready to write an equation. 8 plus something equals 17. There's a few different ways to figure out the answer. Here's one way. What's our partner of 10 for 8? 2. Two. We just got to 10. How many more does it take to get to 17? Seven. Two plus seven is nine. nine. Our answer is nine lilies were planted. Our final step is to read through the entire problem to make sure that it makes sense. Read with me. Jan planted eight tulips last week. Today she planted some lilies. Now she has 17 flowers. How many lilies did she plant? Nine lilies were planted. 
Give me a thumbs up if you think we got the answer right. It makes sense. Good. Mrs. Berg made a mistake on this problem. Raise your hand if you see the mistake I made. What mistake did I make doing this problem? Hmm. Something having to do with a word that I wrote. What's wrong with this problem? Avery, what do you think? You're right, the word right here should not be lilies. This word should be either plants or flowers, because we're not just talking about lilies. Thank you for fixing my mistake.